hello guys and welcome back in today's video we're going to be looking at linear equations and equations are all about balancing things up so the main thing that you have to bear in mind is that the left hand side has got to be equal to the right hand side and of course we're going to be using inverse operations to be able to um to do this to help us um if you haven't seen the video on transposing formula or rearranging formula you need to have a look in the playlist for ncc foundation uh that will be very helpful uh in solving linear equations okay let's jump straight into some example So we're going to start with some single step, um, some simple single step examples. Uh, question A says solve um, if A plus 2 is equal to 6. Okay, so of course we know that we're looking for A because um, A is the unknown. So um, to solve this, I have A2 being added onto A and I'm going to use the idea of inverse operations here. If A plus 2 is equal to 6, then let me subtract 2 from both sides to get rid of A. Um, this is going to cancel this and A is therefore going to be equal to 6 minus 2 is 4. And that's the answer to that one. Um, for the next problem, we have Y minus 8 is equal to 4. Um, y minus 8 is equal to 4. I know that I have um, takeaway or minus 8, so I can add 8 to both sides because I want to find y. So if I add 8 here and I add 8 here, then um, this is going to get rid of um, minus 8 plus 8 is going to become 0. Um, therefore, y would be equal to y would be equal to 8 plus 4, which is 12. Yeah. And uh, here, I've got 2y is equal to 10. Um, 2y is the same as 2 multiplied by y. So times y is equal to 10. And to get rid of that um, 2 there, I can divide both sides by 2. Yeah, remember, whatever you do to the left-hand side, you've got to do the same thing to the right-hand side. And because we have multiply here, I'm using the inverse, which is, divide okay i'm dividing by um two on both sides to get rid of this two so this two is going to cancel this two and we would have that y is equal to uh, 10 divided by 2 is 5. now the last one says a divided by 5 a over 5 is equal to 15. Uh, a over 5 is equal to 15. Um, what I can do here is I can times both sides by 5 because this is divide. Yeah, I can times both sides by 5 to get rid of this 5 here. If I times this by 5 and times this by 5, then this 5 would cancel this 5 and A would be equal to 5 times 15. I think that is 75. 75. Yeah, so those are uh, the examples for um, single step problems. Those are the examples for single step problems. So let's have a look at some multi-step problems. Here it says to find x when 2x plus 5 is equal to 9. It says solve, yeah. Okay, so, so what we want to do here is to try and rearrange the formula to make x the subject so that we can find x. Um, okay, so um, how, how we can do that is that we can we can start by subtracting 5 from both sides. Yeah, so if we subtract 5 from this side and subtract 5 from this side, then this will amount to 0. And 2x would be equal to... Now me and my pens, 2x would be equal to um, 4 and x would be equal to um, 4 divided by 2. Assuming you're dividing both sides by 2 and that would be equal to 
2. Uh, the next problem is 3y minus 7 is equal to 14. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is get rid of y by adding 7 to both sides. So 3y uh, minus 7 plus 7 would be equal to 14 plus 7. Uh, this is going to get rid of the other one. Okay. And 3y will then be equal to 21. And if we divide both sides by 3, then y would be equal to um, 7. Uh, this example says 5 times y plus 2 is equal to 20. And to get rid of these brackets, remember that this is multiplied. So we can say 5 times y plus 2 is equal to 20. We are going to divide both sides. So we'll divide this side. 5 and divide this side by 5 and this 5 is going to cancel this 5 and then we'll have y plus 2 is equal to 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now we have to do uh, subtract 2 from both sides y would be equal to um, 4 minus 2 is 2 yeah okay so we question question d is uh, the square root of 40 minus 4 over 2 is equal to um, 2. So we can start off by um, multiplying both sides by 2 to get rid of the 2 in the bottom. So if I rewrite that as square root of 40 minus 4 over 2 times 2 is equal to 2 times 2. Because I'm doing the same thing to both sides. I'm doing the same thing. Uh, to the left hand side and the right hand side and this will cancel this and we would have um 40 square root of 40 minus 4 is equal to 4. um now to get rid of the square root sign we can square both sides so this will be squared and this will be squared and the square root is going to cancel the square and we will have 40 minus 4 is equal to um, 4 squared, which is 16. Uh, 40 minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 16 plus 4. Um, 40 is equal to 20 t would be equal to 20 over 4 which is equal to 5. Um, now to be able to check that your answer is correct that's one final thing that i want to share with you is to check that your answer is correct you can just plug in that answer that you got into the original equation to see whether it works okay so um let's see we got five at the bottom here t equals 5 so let's see whether t works 5 works okay uh square root of 4 times 5 minus 4 over 2 is that going to give us 2 let's find out uh square root of 4 times 5 is 20 minus 4 over 2 okay <laughs> 20 minus 4 is uh 16 square root of 16 over 2 is that going to give us 2 square root of 16 is um 4 over 2 that definitely gives us 2 left hand side is equal to right hand side equation is balanced answer is correct